I can't hide my frown, my smile is hiding from my mouth. I can't lie, my mind keeps finding time to fight myself. I dive so deep inside, feel like I died and I'm in hell. Or I'm so high, my eyes can't see the ground beneath the clouds. Don't look down. Don't look down. I tried to keep it quiet, silence on my cries for help. As long as I am rising till I'm upside down, I won't look down. All right, guys, let's go ahead and look at this building. This is Owner Exotics' new building, so let's check it out. Um, what you guys are seeing here is going to be the educational room or the main room of Owner Exotics. We'll have caging in here, displays in here, an area for people to interact with animals. Um, it's a very nice big area. Um, it might not show up on camera very well. But uh, then this room over here, I'm going to pan slowly. I'm on a gimbal right now. That looks off on the main street. This here will be a small gecko room. Um, I'm probably going to put you know a few baby racks in here and some breeding racks in here so when people do come for the educational stuff that they could see what it's like to operate a uh, gecko breeding facility so this room here is going to be heated differently than the rest of the building should i say this room here because this this room here will not be heated separately it'll be heated normally with the cages being heated What's really cool is we do have a walk-in vault. These are two foot walls. It's gonna get real echoey here in a minute. This is probably end up gonna be a walk-in incubator at one time, it's soon. Um, but right now it's cooler, so we might be able to put some you know, dark frogs in here, some tarantula species, and we can heat the shelves, put some heat tape on the back. So this could be another area that uh, small caging could come in and someone could walk in here and see these animals. So this, this is not 100% what we're going to do with this room yet. It is pretty cool being a vault. This here is another vault because um, this used to be a bank. Um, this is a non-functioning vault now. It cannot lock. It cannot shut. Um, this is the only one that actually can turn that this side cannot turn um, it's just shelving in there so don't know what we're gonna do with it yet maybe merchandise in there open up put like uh, stuff for sale when people come uh, shirts hats stuff like that I'm very excited about that that door there will be walking down real soon So this here, we have a little kitchenette. Don't mind the film gear. So we do have a refrigerator and we have a sink and we got storage. So this is basically gonna be for animal stuff and then, you know, keep some snacks and stuff here for us. Then back here is gonna be like a family area. For the kids, for us, if we want to chill, it's going to have a couch, a TV, stuff like that. It's going to be away from everybody. Um, so they have somewhere to play. Maybe I'll have some video games back here for them or something like that. Um, my grandkids and my daughter. It's pretty cool. Nice little area. So they're away from all that if they want to be. And then this is a bathroom. Nothing special about a bathroom. But um, nice little bathroom. You guys can see the gimbal today. So let's walk down in the basement where most of the breeding is going to happen. It is a non-finished basement, but it is heated. Um, right now, it is not heated because I don't have the heat on high. I think I got to set up like a 60 because <laughs> we're not in here yet. But this basement is about this takes up the size of what I have Orner Exotics in our personal basement. So about the same square footage of our basement. Um, 
I have plenty of areas to put animal racks and stuff like that. Um, like I said, it's heated down here. So once it's, we turn the heat on, uh, it will be warmer down here. Right now it's about 58 degrees. As you see, it's powered. This room here is probably going to be the baby room. We're going to have baby geckos down here. Um, kind of dungeony, but that doesn't bother me none. Then back here, we have another vault, which we will not be using this vault. This one is, you can't even shut, but we're not worried about that. Another area. I'm not sure what we'll put down here, but possibly more geckos, you know, geckos, other animals. Um, and then this here is just another small little room. There we go. So that would probably be used for storage and whatnot. So we have plenty of room to put geckos and produce geckos. And I mean, I'll even have geckos on this wall here eventually but this is the main room um OE is going to try to do educational center stuff so this is it um when you come into Warner exotics you'll be able to see you know a gecko breeding stuff in this room here and then interact with like Mimsy and Groot, um, Hisser, which is our Nile monitor, um, and some other stuff. Like I said, it's not huge, but it's not small. Um, the camera's probably not showing it off enough, like usual. Got a nice piece of joint right across the street. It's pretty cool. Burger joint over there. Wrightstown is taking care of us, guys. All right, guys, let's go outside. All right, guys, it is raining, but my gear is waterproof, so it doesn't matter. This is it. There she is. So we'll walk. We have empty lots next to us. I don't even care that's raining. I don't even care. We're good. And as you see, right on my back door, we got Fox River. So photography is going to be a cool thing. And I'm walking right in mud. I'm going to get under the bridge. Pretty cool, guys. All right, let's walk back in. You guys see the the walk. I'll probably be down here a lot. I already got info that there's some bald eagles that nest around here, so we'll find those. And there's the building. Pretty cool, guys. Now 
not too shabby. Oh, rain's all over my gear. Look at all that. All right, guys, I gotta clean this gear up. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, I have no furniture here. I have nothing to sit on. I just figured that out. And my gear is covered in rain because I did a walk outside and guess what? It's raining outside because nothing cooperates with me when I'm doing, you know, videos and whatnot. But my gear is uh, water resistant, waterproof, whatever you want to call it. So, I just want to say thank you for watching this. This is just the start. OE is back on YouTube. I'm out.